Wake up, wake up, wake up, step up, wake up. Hi guys, behind me is my prototype for my venture, Urban Aqua Farm Kibera. It is located in Olympic Estate in Kibera at an organization known as Rock. I have been an academic tutor in Rock for the past two years, until last year during the rainy season when we lost one of our students to a freak accident. Evans was 17 and an extremely bright student whose life got cut short simply because he lived in the slum where people power their homes through illegal connections. The sudden loss of my class clown made me realize that I needed to do more for these children, and as such, Urban Aquafarm Kibera was born. As a biologist, I couldn't think of how to tackle the power problem in the slum, but I could think of a number of ways stagnant rainwater could be used for good, hence the birth of aquaponics in Kibera. This system is highly beneficial in that it requires less space and less water compared to the conventional methods of agriculture. For the system, we used opaque containers to curb out the growth of algae. The fish tank is 110 liters, the grow beds are 25 liters each, and the sump tank is 69 liters. For plumbing, we used half-inch PPR pipe that was cut and connected to all the containers to enable the cycling of water throughout the system. We have roughly 80 fish, tilapia and catfish, which we acquired from a farm in Kisumu, Western Kenya. The fish are roughly a week old in the system. The fish are fed on insect meal made from insect larvae that is highly organic and more nutritious than plant-based fish meal currently sold to farmers. In the system, we have also incorporated red worms from a vermicomposting unit I have at home to help aid in the breakdown of solid waste that is washed into the grow beds. For the grow bed media, we used pumice, volcanic rock, simply because it is porous and as such it provides good surface area for bacterial culture. The plants used in this system, we have coriander, dania, managu, spinach, and skuma. The water in the system is tested on a daily basis for its pH, nitrate, nitrite, and ammonia levels so as to ensure that all components are working well together. The advantages of this system are endless in that it uses less space and water as well as produce nutritious and organic food for the owners. In addition to that, students from Rock will be trained on how to set up and run the unit with the hope that in the future they can have systems of their own. The main challenge faced when setting up the system was in working with people. The months poured into setting up this prototype made me aware of the fact that I lack people skills, especially when it comes to getting things done my way. For this, I need more training to better my communication. The fish provided were also smaller than they should have been, and as such, many died during their first night as they were being sucked into the plumbing and washed out into the grow beds where they suffocated and died. If such a system was scaled and taken further, it has the potential of impacting many lives as well as bringing about a sense of food security to all involved. Personally, according to my personal level, I can say that this project is super cool because there's no way you'll find a farmer practicing aquaculture. Aquaculture is the rearing of fish and at the same time growing crops. This is like multitasking. So the same, t the same water being used for the fish to survive is the same water which helps the plants to grow. The system is cool and this is cool stuff for the urban centers. At least this will help us ease the burden of food shortages. I think this project is super cool because you know where the fish is. The fish that you are growing is coming from and also the crops. For me this project is good because in one way it saves land because for you to have this project you can still helping crop production without using soil. I am a very proud mama bear. As you've heard the reviews from my students, they are excited and interested in learning more about my aquaponic unit. It is the start of many things for us and I'm glad I took this leap of faith.